Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I recently came across this article on space.com and the headline definitely caught my attention. Japan has a wild idea to launch a satellite made of wood in 2024. I'm sorry, they want to do what now? A satellite made of wood? Okay. I had many questions and so I read a few articles and some press releases from the research team at Kyoto University in Japan and yeah, next year they are going to try and launch a wooden satellite. That is happening. So hopefully in this video I will be able to answer all of your questions about the how, the why, and the what are we doing Japan? So yeah. Let's get into it. So we've been putting satellites into orbit since the 1950s with up to 100 spacecraft launched every year until 2010. But in the last 10 years, commercial launches have become more accessible and this number has hugely spiked, surpassing 1,400 new satellites in 2021. With the number of rockets sent to space likely to increase, NOAA projected that in the coming decades, as much as half of atmospheric aerosol in the stratosphere could contain metallic particles from spacecraft. And already as of this year, NOAA found that 10% of atmospheric aerosol in the stratosphere contained metallic particles. Now, the long-term impact of these metal fragments isn't precisely known, but scientists are concerned that it could damage Earth's fragile ozone layer. So that got some folks over at Kyoto University thinking, do all our satellites need to be made of metal? Which I would have said the answer is probably yes, but some recent test results aboard the ISS has demonstrated a different answer. A recent test aboard the ISS exposed different woods to the vacuum of space, and the results confirmed that wood is remarkably resilient even in the environment of outer space. According to a press release, despite the extreme environment of outer space involving significant temperature changes and exposure to intense cosmic rays and dangerous solar particles, particles for 10 months, tests confirmed no decomposition or deformations, such as cracking, warping, peeling, or surface damage. The experiment actually served as a preliminary investigation for the Kyoto University-led international partnership, Lignosat. They designed a wooden satellite scheduled to be jointly launched by the Japanese space agency JAXA and NASA sometime next year. The prototype satellite will also be called Lignosat, which does seem like a bit of a missed opportunity for some kind of like cool tree named satellite that I can't think of right now, <laughs> but, I, but I will take suggestions in the comments. The Lignosat Space Wood Project, I'm not even kidding, that is the full name, began all the way back in April of 2020 as a collaboration between Kyoto University and Sumitomo Forestry. Koji Murata, the head of the research effort said, Wood's ability to withstand simulated low Earth orbit, or LEO, conditions astounded us. We want to see if we can accurately estimate the effects of the harsh LEO environment on organic materials. To test those effects, a small panel containing three different wood samples was launched to the ISS for stowage on the station's Japanese experimental Kibo module, where it was exposed to space for 10 months in 2022. The wood was retrieved by a JAXA astronaut and returned to Earth aboard SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft in January of 2023, and the project scientists were pretty pleased. Of the woods tested, the team chose to move forward with the project using wood from a magnolia tree. This was because of its relatively high workability, dimensional stability, and overall strength, according to their press release. If in fact wood does turn out to be a viable alternative for satellite manufacturing, it does have some potential benefits compared to the typical metal alloys. For one, it is more environmentally friendly across the board. It is easier, cheaper, and cleaner to produce, and much more disposable when it comes to the satellite's end of life. And as you guys know, when deorbited, satellites and the components from which they are assembled usually burn up, mostly in Earth's atmosphere. And the parts that don't burn up are strategically deorbited to land in remote parts of the Earth's oceans. 
Hello Aeolus. Wooden satellites would most certainly completely burn up during atmospheric re-entry and eventually become a gas. And if some small fragments of wood did somehow miraculously survive the fiery plunge, they would very easily be decomposed pretty much anywhere they landed on Earth's surface. And it does seem slightly less scary to be hit by miracle remnants of scorching hot magnolia tree than it does scorching hot metal. But maybe that's just me. For Murata, head of the research effort, wood is an obvious choice for space structures. He says, when you use wood on Earth, you have the problem of burning, rotting, and deformation. But in space, you don't have those problems. There is no oxygen in space, so it doesn't burn, and no living creatures live in them, so they don't rot. Murata also said that the strength per weight of wood is the same as aluminum, which also makes it a compelling choice for space construction. However, there are still a lot of unknowns when it comes to wood in space structures, according to Tatsuhito Fujita, who is an engineer at JAXA who has been reviewing the project. Fujita says the use of natural resources for space hardware makes sense from a sustainable development goals perspective. But since wood has never been used in satellites, we cannot tell what kind of benefit we can obtain at this moment. For JAXA and the JQ program, the initiative launching the satellite, the priority is safety. And the Lignosat passed its preliminary evaluation with no critical concern, said Fujita. The Lignosat is in its final stages of its safety review and is expected to launch in the summer of 2024. Murata says it will monitor the satellite for six months to see how it performs in space conditions, such as the the extreme changes in temperature in space. The team will also monitor its reactions to radio waves and magnetic fields, as well as see how the wooden shell protects the satellite semiconductor, which manages the flow of the electric current within the device. So as of this recording, the launch site and the exact launch date have not been finalized, but it is something that I will be keeping an eye on, and frankly, I hope it goes well. Because last time I showcased JAXA on this channel, it didn't go super well. It was uh, decided that the rocket could not complete its mission, so destruct command was sent. And it's an interesting idea. I suppose our complete perception of wood and its strengths and capabilities is obviously totally based on how it works here on Earth, surrounded by all of our oxygen. Take that away completely, and yeah. Who knows? I feel like in any version you see of the future and space travel, you never really see anything made of wood. So it seems odd, but I guess the results will speak for themselves. And speaking of results, all of this may look very fine. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. <laughs> may look very fine and polished now, but filming these videos doesn't always go super smooth. Sometimes I just can't say words. As I'm sure many of you know by now, India has officially joined the moon landing club. Club? Club. Sometimes Amazon shows up right in the middle of a video. This is me being quiet because the Amazon guy is delivering something right now. And sometimes the animals outside get very, very loud. Birds! Quiet! Hey! Psst, psst. Birds! So I recently made a super cut of all of my bloopers from this channel. I put it over on my Patreon. If you're interested in seeing it, head over there. Link is in the description. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.